At a time when students and their parents may be under tremendous stress about getting into college and paying for it, this man is brimming with excitement about it. He's preaching the message that every student who wants to go to college can go and get help paying for it. Give a round of applause. Meet Cornelius Betts, affectionately known in the San Antonio community as Nippy the Scholarship Guy. Nippy knows secrets to searching far and wide and digging deep to uncover millions of dollars in scholarship money. Nippy and his wife, Adrian, sent both of their children to universities without having to spend any of their own money to do it. A full ride for his daughter. Courtney didn't have money. We had money. And what we wanted her to do was get her own. And she did it. And a full ride for his son, too. And I must say, I found him more money than Nippy found for Courtney, so I'm really proud about that. My wife and I were looking at my daughter and her friends and saw that there was something wrong. We noticed a trend. Nobody had scholarships. Nobody had money for college. Everybody was about to go into debt with serious student loans. And we kept looking, saying, poor kids get scholarships because they don't, they're disadvantaged. Rich kids can go to college because their parents can pay for it. But the kids in the middle, they were kind of left out. Nippy knew he was onto something. He turned that knowledge into Empowerment 21, EP21, a navigational system to guide families toward college scholarships. He says those scholarships can come from a number of sources, from major corporations and agencies to the colleges themselves. Two sisters from one family received full academic scholarships to Notre Dame, and two sisters from another family both received up to $100,000 to go to school. Eager students, parents, and educators show up one Saturday each month during the school year to get equipped for the process. Here are some of his tricks of the trade. Students first engage the month-to-month -month timeline with critical activities for the freshman year through the senior year their books to help steer parents in their scholarship oh, search. I picked it up from UTSA a couple of weeks ago, and I think it's a good book to have, so. The big screen is often the backdrop, sometimes showing special features, perhaps a new scholarship website, and at other times, facts and figures as Nippy gives a serious reality check. Because kids don't understand the difference today versus what it used to be. Back in the old days, you paid cash for something and you got something for it. You paid cash for something and you got something for it. Once credit cards came, we were in trouble because all of a sudden, you're, it's that supply and demand. You know, when the country was based on just supply and demand, based on what money people had, it was great. All of a sudden, that thing, that little scale started tilting. I demanded, I demanded, I demanded, and the supply would go down because you're putting a false demand on products, goods, and services because you're buying it with money you shouldn't have anyway. You're spending money you didn't even earn to impress people you don't like to buy stuff you don't really need. And that's what I believe is true. And so one of the things I try to do is try to tell kids, because of that false demand they put on stuff, that drives the cost of goods and services up more than our ability to make more money. Because we can't make enough money to keep up, that's why we make the spouse work. That's why we work two jobs. That's why we live with grandmama. That's why the kids live with you longer. Because it's tough. And so I think if we pool our resources together, this up here, and we take the parents in this city, San Antonio and Bear County, and we follow the mayor's vision and what this whole thing about Cafe College is talking about, is getting the kids to understand that we can change Bear County. We can change Texas. We can change America. I believe that in my heart. But we got to make the kids understand it's more out there than just dropping it like it's hot and partying. And, and, and everything else. And it's not about stuff, it's just about making it so you can live with some dignity and then go into retirement and just live a good life. EP21 has grabbed the attention of other organizations, spinning off a citywide educational collaboration. So the mayor had a program, University of Texas, San Antonio had a program, Region 20 had a program, Empowerment 21 as a grassroots organization had a program. We kind of melded it together and the collaboration is why we are growing so fast and so rapidly. I can't thank P20 initiatives enough for what they did to help take us to that next level, but it wasn't just them. 
my church gets a lot of credit. So what motivates Nippy Betts, this dynamic trailblazer? A lot of people will wonder why I still do what I do. My daughter's an engineer in Houston, doing great. My son's a computer network programmer type administrator in Albuquerque, doing great. So people say, why do you still do this? It's something inside of me that I just, I don't know what, what it is. It's like, a, I, know, I don't want to get scriptural on you, but like a fire shut up in my bones. There's something inside of me that makes me want to do this. He said, Adrian, I'm going to start this nonprofit. What do you think about it? And I'm like, okay, baby, whatever you want to do, because I always stand behind my man 100%. Vice President Greg Bellany is also a big part of EP21's success, but he still gives the credit back to Nippy. Passionate, passionate, passionate. Uh, if you ever want to meet a person who believes in his heart what he's doing is for the good of all, that's Nippy Betts. Because there's something about bringing people together. I want that Saturday meeting to be the, the meat and potatoes. And what motivates families to come to these early morning sessions? Giveaways, big giveaways. And here's your laptop, enjoy it, and congratulations. Okay, very good. Now, Nippy is even known to make it rain cash. Let's fight to get to that money. They look at that and say, wow, we're gonna go there and we're gonna win this money or win this laptop. But something happens to them. While they're sitting there, thinking that they're just there for that, they look up on that stage and they see information about the cost of living. They see information about budgets and what their families have to go through to get them to college. They start seeing that they can take ownership of this whole, whole scholarship and getting in the college process. And that's when I got it. That's when I feel like I'm a fisherman and I'm like, gotcha. Our concerns are paying for the room, paying for the board. And I can help you. You don't have to just go do it on your own. I don't mind helping you. You can't pay me. I do this for free. Today was my first time here. Actually, my vice principal was the one that told me about this program, and he printed out like a paper for me with the date and the place, and I came here, and it was, it was really helpful. I plan on coming next month as well. I, and just sitting in this seminar today, I could see so many things that I missed out on with his sister that I'm not going to miss out on with him. The big thing I said is no parent could pay me, no team could pay me. I will never take money from a parent or a team to educate them on how to get their kids into college and prepare for life after high school. I don't promise them with EP21 that I can get them scholarships. I promise them though that if they do what we teach them, they can get into college. If they do it effectively, they can get scholarships and get college paid for. I can help those who help themselves. Empowerment 21 runs by donations. The hope is that the community will continue to see the value of this vital program to ensure its future success. I want donors, they can go to the website and donate through PayPal, and that's awesome, we, we love that. Um, anything that they give, it, they can rest assured that it's going to be used to go back to the kids in one way, form, or fashion. People are put on this earth to do certain things. I think this is my niche. I think this is what I was meant to do.